Hi guys, I'm Kate and today I'm going to teach you how to make rose salt paintings. Today you'll need some salt, PVA glue, water, paintbrush, a pencil, watercolours and some card. Okay guys, the first thing I'm going to want to do is very lightly draw on the design that you are going to be painting. So I've chosen to do stars, so I'm not pressing too hard, just press very lightly, just so you can see it to put the glue on in a minute. So I'm just going to do another star over here, and then I'm going to cover all of my page in some stars as well. So it looks like this so far. I'm going to carry on. Okay, so now you've done your design, you're going to squeeze your glue over all of the lines you've just drawn. So I'm going to go over the first star here. I'm squeezing directly onto the paper rather than using a glue spreader because it needs that thick line for the salt to stick to. So that's the first one done. If I show you that, like... So, and then I'm going to do all the rest. So now I've finished putting the glue on all the stars and it looks like this. Okay, so now I've put the glue on, all I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle the salt over the design. So I'm going to make sure I get lots of salt on there so that all the glue is fully covered. I'm just using normal table salt, I'm not using anything fancy, just plain table salt and I'm going to sprinkle that over all of the design, making sure that all the glue is completely covered. If you make sure you've got a piece of paper underneath, it just means that when you shake off all the extra bits of salt that you don't need, it just can collect it all up and uh, not means it doesn't go everywhere as well. So nearly finished, last couple of stars. Just putting on all of this salt, making sure I say I've got lots of salt all over the picture. And uh, last star here. And there we go. And I think that's okay, perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna shake off all the extra salt that I don't need. Do this really, really carefully. And when I've done that, then I'm just gonna leave this to fully dry, make sure it's bone dry before we do the painting on it. So I leave that to dry. Okay, so now my design is fully dry, I'm going to make my paintbrush with the watercolour really, really wet. So I'm going to get lots and lots of water on the palette and my paintbrush really wet. And then I'm going to very carefully just touch the salt. I'm not going to drag the paint because what's going to happen is the salt is going to absorb all of the water and paint and spread. So if you see, I just gently touch the salt and the paint is absorbed with the water by the salt. So do that. I'm going to do two different colours on this one. So I'm going to just start with my purple again. I'm not dragging the paintbrush, just touching it very, very lightly to my design. 
Okay, so I've done my purple, now I'm going to get my next colour, which is going to be a pink. And I'm going to touch, as I say, the salt very, very lightly. And you can just see that the salt absorbs all the water really, really quickly. And that means the colour spreads very quickly throughout the picture. So it's the first one nearly done. Finish off a little bit more of the pink over here. Now, if you don't have watercolour paints, you don't need to panic. What you could do is you could try doing this with a little bit of food colouring that you just mix with water. So it makes a very, very light kind of paint, but with food colouring. And if you don't have salt at home, then you could always maybe try to do this with a little bit of sugar as well. So now I've done the first one, I'm just going to decorate... This second star again, different colour this time, but same thing, really, really wet brush and just very lightly touching it to the star. So I'm just going to put a little bit more water on this one, a different colour this time. And again, it's just the salt is just absorbing all that water and the paint is spreading very, very quickly. So do a little bit more over here. You can do any colour, any design that you want completely up to you with this one just make sure that it's fully dry before you paint it otherwise the glue will stop the salt absorbing it as well as it should do so nearly finished on this design and when i've done this one i'm going to carry on doing all the others as well so last couple of bits and last little bit here Perfect, last little dab of orange, just there and on the top there, brilliant. Okay, so now my final design is all done. You can see that I've finished painting all of the different stars. Um, so you can do any design that you want. This is another one that I've done. Uh, this time I just wrote the word love with my squeezy bottle of glue and I've just painted it with all the different watercolours to make a rainbow picture. Have fun, guys. <laughs>